Hi, I'm David Quigley and I'm here from Carroll Electric and I'm here today to talk about the new regulations IS 10101 in relation to the, the new consumer units. So there's four main changes that we're going to discuss today and, and how Carroll have kind of looked to adapt these into their consumer units. The first one is a double pole isolator must be used on the incomer of the, the consumer units. That's to interrupt both the live and neutral conductors on the board. The second one is that RCDs must be protecting all luminaire circuits as well as other circuits in the house. Point three then is around surge arresters and how they're now mandatory unless a risk assessment is uh, produced and included as to why they are not in the board. And the last point then is around protection on your conductors. And we now need a 6 amp protection on all 1.5 mil conductors and a 10 amp protection on 2.5 mil conductors. To satisfy the regulation around needing RCD protection on all your luminaire circuits, Garrow have come up with two different types of boards. The first board here has a code of G26B-7A. It has two RCDs protecting your MCB circuits within the house. Okay, you can see here for the Garrow board we have a two pole incomer both to, to switch the live and the neutral connection. We also have here a earth terminal for easy termination of your cables coming into the board. Another option for this board would be the G26I-7A. In this board we would have a 100 amp double pole isolator. We would use an isolator in a situation where you would have your B type MCB in the meter cabinet of the house and your isolator in the main board. The second option then is the G26B-7B. As before, we have your MCBs protected by your RCD here, which would be your ring main circuits. We also have for the luminaire circuits then, individual RCBOs. The advantage of this board over the other board is that the luminaires are protected individually and that helps for safety purposes. Okay, so around the surge protection devices then, um, the, there is a new regulation that surge must be included in all consumer units. The only time that you, can't, you don't have to put a, a surge protection device in is when you complete a risk assessment form. Now the risk assessment would be taken into, into consideration the cable lengths and the risk of lightning within an area. So to satisfy this new regulation, Garrow has produced a surge protection kit. The kit includes an earth cable, the surge protection device and the buzz bar. Within the board itself, we have a space already left for the surge, which is clearly labelled here on the DIN rail. Garrow now has a full range of these boards available and you can find them all at Meteor Electrical's website. Thank you for listening.